here's what we're going to learn today. Today, we are going to define mass or weight. That means we're going to give the meaning of mass and weight. We're going to identify light objects. Identify means find. And we're going to identify heavy objects. What is mass or weight? Mass or weight tells us how heavy something is. And the opposite of heavy is, that's right, light. So here we have a balance scale. Have you ever seen one before? For those of us who go to the market with our parents or grandparents, this is what the vendor uses to weigh the produce. Or have you seen it in class when your teacher introduced the lesson on mass and weight? How does a balance scale work? Let's find out. The side with the lighter ob object goes up. The side with the heavier object goes down. So in the first scale on the side that goes up, we have a cherry. Think about it. One cherry. Is it light or is it heavy? On the next side of our scale, we have a pineapple. Between a cherry and a pineapple, which one is lighter? The cherry is. That's why the side goes up. The pineapple is heavier than the cherry. That's why it goes down. Both sides can weigh the same. And another word to describe the same is equal. On one side, we have two oranges. On the next side, we have two oranges as well. Our scale shows that they are equal in mass or weight. The words we use when describing mass or weight are words like this. Heavy, heavier, heaviest. The dog is heavy. The horse is heavier. But the elephant is the heaviest. Here are words that we use to describe how light something is. The bottle of glue is light. The eraser is lighter. But the feather is the lightest. So you can try this at home. If you have these three objects, you can find out which one is light, lighter, or the lightest. Now, Let's find some heavy objects. We have a stove, a paper clip, a refrigerator, a feather, and a car. Do you think you can lift up a stove? Hmm, I know we think we're pretty strong, but I don't suggest you try on your own. A stove is very heavy. Can you lift a paper clip? That's easy. Anyone can. A paper clip is not heavy. A refrigerator. Hmm. A refrigerator is very heavy. Can you lift a feather? There's a saying that goes like this, as light as a feather. So a feather isn't heavy at all. What about a car? Can you lift a car? I surely can't. A car is heavy. Let's find the light objects. A cup. Is a cup 
heavy or light? A cup is light. A massive ship. Hmm. That's very heavy. A, an aeroplane. Can you lift an aeroplane? Nope. An aeroplane is heavy. It's not light. A key. Is a key light? Yes, it is. What about an ant? An ant is super light. So let's choose the correct answer. Let's read together. The pineapple is heavier or lighter than the carrot. Let's remember when the balance scale goes up, it means the item is light. But when the balance scale goes down, that means that the item is heavy. Hmm. The pineapple is heavier or lighter than the carrot. That's right. The pineapple is heavier than the carrot. The cake is heavier or lighter than the pumpkin. We have one slice of cake and we have one huge pumpkin. Let's look at the balance scale. Does the side with the slice of cake go up or down? It goes up. So the slice of cake is lighter than the pumpkin. The chicken is heavier or lighter than the egg. The side of the balance scale with the chicken goes down. That means the chicken is heavier than the egg. The seashell is heavier or lighter than the watermelon. Now let's find the seashell. Does the balance scale with the seashell go up or does it go down? It goes up, which means that the seashell is lighter than the watermelon. Now let's talk about what we learned today. Today, we learned that mass or weight is how heavy something is. We learned heavy means the item weighs a lot and it is hard to move, like the aeroplane or the ship or the refrigerator. We learned light means the item does not weigh a lot and it's easy to move, like the feather, or the paper clip. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I'd like to ask you to ask your parents to go to learn.moe.gov.tt where they will find ECCE primary and secondary school activities. Thank you all and see you soon.